Okay, let's go over this graphical analysis of nuclear decay practice. Part one says the decay of sodium 24 will undergo beta decay, transforming into magnesium 24. The data in graph below give you data for this decay. Use it to answer the questions that follow. So you have a graph and a table here. Both are useful. However, I think the table is the more useful of the two. Although the graph does show you what type of function we're seeing, which is an exponential decay function. Okay. So number one, what is the original mass of sodium-24? From the table, it says 500.0 grams. You can also see that from the graph. Number two, does all of the sodium-24 decay at once? No. How can you tell? It takes many hours to reach 0, 0.0 grams. So you can see that from the graph pretty easily, that it doesn't all decay at once. It sort of takes some time. Number three. Actually, number three through eight are all very similar. If you look over at the table, you can see that the time in hours matches up with the grams for the mass remaining. So let's just list these off. After 15 hours, 250 grams is left, which is 50%. After 30 hours, 125 grams, which is 25%, is remaining. After 45 hours, 62.5 grams, which is 12.5%, is remaining. After 60 hours, 31.3 grams, which is 6.26%, is remaining. After 75 hours, 15.6 grams, and 3.12% is remaining. And number eight, after 90 hours, 7.8 grams, which is only 1.56% is left remaining. Number nine, what pattern do you notice? So I said that every 15 hours, half of the sodium 24 remains. Okay. On the next page, we have part two, which is the decay of iodine 131. It says iodine-131 will undergo beta decay, transforming into xenon-131. The decay and graph below give you data for this decay. Use it to answer the questions that follow. So we have a very similar setup here, but it's for a different type of element. And let's go through these answers. Number one, what is the original mass of iodine-131? So the table says 150.0 grams. Number two, how long did it take for only half of the iodine-131 to be left remaining? So again, looking at the table, 150 divided by 2 would be 75 grams, and that correlates with 8 days. Number three, how long did it take for only a quarter of the iodine-131 to be left remaining? That would be 16 days. Four one-eighth of the iodine to be left remaining took 24 days, and for one-sixteenth, it took 32 days for that much to be remaining. Number six says the half-life of sodium-24 is 15 hours, and the half-life of iodine-131 is eight days. What does this mean? What is half-life? So I said that half of the sample decays into something else, in that specific amount of time, and that this continues indefinitely. Okay. And for the third page, part three. Here's the decay of radium-223 to radon-219. We have a similar setup and only two questions. So which type of decay does radium-223 undergo? justify your answer. I said alpha decay because the mass number decreases by 4 from 223 to 219 and also the atomic number decreases by 2 which is exactly the amount of an alpha particle which is 
the helium nucleus, right? So remember, helium has an atomic number of 2 and a mass of 4. And the last question here. Use the data represented in the chart or graph above to determine the half-life of radium-223. Use the data to justify your answer. So I said 12 days because after this amount of time, half of the sample has converted to radon-219 from radium-223. And after another 12 days, the mass remaining is 62.5 grams. Okay, so again, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be available in class and via email. Have a good one.